Acropolis was used as a fortress by uh, the Greeks as well as the Turks. And these vertical walls that were virtually impossible to scale, sitting on a natural plateau above the city. I think the air temperature was probably 35 that day, but wind chill. Look at Karen's even cold there in, in Waldenbuch. Yes, Karen, okay. You're cold too. There's a backstroker. Hardy people, the Greeks. Yeah, the interpreter had difficulty with the translation of the Greek phrase. I think what he was trying to say was that Jupiter was, Jupiter was the father of the gods and uh, was worshipped in that manner. And this is the temples, the pagan temples of the Greeks. What is that trying to say? That we, I guess we just flew over Mont Blanc. Pilot must have come on and told us that we were going to go by the tallest point, 16,000 feet in Europe. There it is, Mont Blanc. The Mount Everest of Switzerland. There's the engine of the plane, General Electric engines. Show that to Carl Schneider. Later, meet him in Paris. He works for GE. Taking off again. We, maybe we stopped in Geneva on the way back. Geneva had their terminals out in the middle of the field. They had these pods. You took an underground train or walkway, walking sidewalk, moving sidewalks, and then you came up in the pod area. Oh, we were sledding. We used to sled down the hills in Waldenbuch. We had these plastic sleds with little hand runners. There's the uh, taking this from the balcony in Waldenbuch. And we'd have a blast. Good times. Good snow. Good fields. Must be dinner time. Come on, kids. Let's go. Dinner's on the table. Mom says, come on, let's go. Get in the house. Soup's on. <laughs> let's go. Soup's on, guys. Oop, there goes Tommy down. Michael's pulling his sled okay. Tommy's getting... So there's a cross-country skier going by. Didn't take my <laughs> look at the kids. Those are plowed fields, and they'd fall into a, it's a soft spot in the earth. <laughs> they were getting tired. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go eat. It's time to eat. Whoop. I think Michael's about to give him a, a face in the snow job. Shades of Cincinnati in the snow. Okay, Mikey, come on, Tommy. Got their scarfs on, their gloves on, their boots on, their snowsuits on. Cold feet, probably. Tommy'd had it. Full of mud. Full of mud. Get out of the mud, Tommy. Michael sells him. Come on. Get it out of the rain. Come on, you guys, let's go, let's eat. Okay, we're in uh, Cologne. This is the theater, theater of the <laughs> Cologne Dome. And we were on our way to London to meet the listener. So this is uh, the last remnants of Regular 8 film. Uh, 1970, no, yeah, 70, might have been December 1970, around there. And this is the beautiful Cologne Dome, Cologne Dome. Let's go the other way. It 
It's our first experience really out on our own in Germany without knowing where we were going or what we were doing very well. And still trying to interpret some of the signs. And I remember trying to interpret Beate Uza. And I interpreted Beate to mean beat. And it, the only thing I could think of or look, find in the dictionary that was close to Uza, which I thought was a word, not someone's name, as it really is, was yourself or oneself, like Unzura, ourselves. So you can figure it out from there, because it was a porno shop, is what Beata Uza shops are. This cathedral is one of the most beautiful in the world. Cologne is known for their dome, as they call it, cathedral. Stained glass windows were gorgeous. Use different sprockets. But I We're in Tunis, Tunisia. Jardin of the Hotel Hilton in Tunis. I have a sheet here I'm going to read. That's one of the Kurt Isenze tour signs that was in this 400 foot real can that I think is really interesting. This was a February 18th, 1972 tour. It's called the Washington's Birthday Flight to Tunis, North Africa. So we left at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., 6, 6, now 1800 hours sharp. Flight number DF. Name of the airline is Condor, was a 727 jet, baggage allowance, one suitcase, 44 pounds per person, check and counter Condor, the Frankfurt Airport. Proper meal will be served on board. Depart February 18th at 7.30 p.m. Depart February 21st at 6 p.m. from Tunis Airport. Flying time, 2 hours and 45 minutes. Deadline check-in at Frankfurt is 7 p.m. There's a map of the uh, Tunis flight, approximately where it is, where the top of that arrow. Big view of um, Africa. We're on the bus taking some tours around Tunis now. Tours conducted by Bruno Gmund, owner of All Touristic, and Richard McLean, who conducted the November tour to Tunis last year. The tour price of $119 per person includes round-trip flight from Frankfurt to Tunis, three nights accommodation at the Deluxe Hilton Hotel in double rooms, including breakfast, round-trip coach transfer, Tunis Airport Hotel, and a half-day half sightseeing tour to Carthage, another tour to Tunis, and another half-day to Sidi Boussad. We will charge, please pay on the plane to Tunis, an extra $4 per person for airport tax, porter fees, and tips. After you pay this amount, you don't do any other tipping on the tour. That was Adri, I think, right there with that babushka on. Some of the guys around Tunis. I'll continue reading in beautiful faces of the, uh, the North Africans here. Semitic tribes. Please note that we cannot be held responsible for airline delays, weather conditions, strikes, traffic jams, etc. This tour has been prepared with the utmost care. You may have to tolerate some minor inconveniences in the Orient. Please note that it takes us at least one hour to check a whole aircraft, 125 persons through passport and customs control. Please have a little bit of patience with the local officials. Here we are. I think we're in Carthage now. There's GBF with his famous... Uh...